What's up everyone, welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk. Today, I have some bad news. Okay, so what's going on? Well, last weekend, well actually it's been six days now, I came home and I noticed something was wrong with the fish. And it's a problem that I haven't had to deal with since I started in the hobby. All of my fish are infected with the parasite known as ick. Yes, the whole tank has ick and for six and a half years, my fish have been just fine. I've had no issues up until now. Now, if you're new to the hobby, ick is a protozoan, it's a parasite that attaches itself to a host, AKA your fish, and it starts to infest and eat your fish. And the only visible sign of this parasite is whenever it's attached to the fish. You'll, you'll see little white spots. So it's commonly referred to as white spot disease. It looks like salt, like they've sprinkled some salt all over your fish, little white spots everywhere. And what happens is for around four to seven days, they are attached to the fish. And then after that time period, they drop off and a couple days later they multiply or they find themselves in the substrate, uh, your sand bed and everything, and they multiply. And then a couple days after that, they swim back up and attach back to your fish or they find new hosts, new fish, and the infection or the outbreak just keeps spreading and spreading and spreading. Now, now the absolute best way to treat this is to probably take all of the fish out of the tank, put them in their own uh, quarantine system, use medication or hyposalinity, which is gradually lowering the salinity down. However, that's just not possible with the setup that I'm working with and uh, the capacity that I have on site to deal with it. I'm not able to take out all the fish and put them in a separate system. I think it would cause way too much stress, way too much unnecessary stress on the fish. Uh, that's what happened to me whenever I first had an outbreak in my 75 gallon tank. I set up an emergency hospital tank, moved the fish to that hospital tank, and uh, they ended up not making it. So stress does play a big part in this and keeping your fish alive. Now you also want to keep your fish's immune system up and healthy. So in my case, I can't take the fish out of the tank and I've been researching what the best medication is for a reef tank. Is there a reef safe product out there? And there's a variety of reef safe ick treatments out there. However, um, there's no real proof, at least through the forums, that they work. But the treatment I'm gonna be trying out is by Polyp Lab. It's Reef Safe Medic and it's basically a water conditioner that you treat your tank uh, after the lights go off you dose it at night and then you dose it again in the morning and what it's supposed to do is attack the ick in its uh, free swimming stage so whenever it drops off of your fish and goes down to the sand bed it's supposed to help attack them there and when they multiply and come up from the sand bed to find a new host it's supposed to attack them there so i'm going to give that a try Okay, so here's a quick example on how I used Polyp Lab's Medic on my tank. Now, as you can see, the lights are turned off. It's around midnight. Um, my tank lights are completely off by then, so it's a good time to use it. Polyp Lab says you wanna dose at night and then dose in the morning. Um, so the way that I do it is each scoop is for 50 gallons. It treats 50 gallons. Um, it's a conditioner, so it's not really a medication, it conditions the water to help handle ick. So what I do is I take six scoops and I put that into a little bowl of water and I'll take my turkey baster, smash up the little pellets so that it dissolves a little bit quicker in the water and then I'll pour it into my sump and let it disperse across the tank. Now six scoops is enough for 300, I have about 240 uh, gallons water volume give or take a little bit um, so I just wanted to put one extra scoop in it's not really gonna hurt anything because the directions say that if you have a, a major problem and you didn't catch it really early on then you can use three scoops per um, but I'm doing the the one one scoop per 50 gallons and I'm dosing enough for 300 gallons 
So at the time of this recording, I've been dosing the tank now with Medic for five days and I've noticed a significant change in the fish in the tank. Majority of the fish have very little ick to no ick. However, the powder blue tang still has a significant sign of ick on his body. So at the moment, I'll continue to use Polyp Labs Medic and I'll let you know what the results are. I'll post some updates on Instagram and on Facebook. So be sure to follow the pages over there. Uh, leave me a comment if you've tried Medic before and what your results were, um, or if there's another product that you tried and it helped, let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something today. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.